Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Sauce. It's the backup channel, backing Celeb up and bringing you all the breaking news. A few weeks ago, your boy NLE Chopper was talking about how he had a crush on Ice Spice. And your boy NLE Chopper said, quote, Ice Spice is beautiful, man. I got her number. I hit her personally. We talking about music. I don't text her no more. She changed her number, so I like from a distance. She do a lot of big things. Would I date her if she want to go? End quote. Listen, can somebody please tell NLE Chopper that if the chick that you're talking to on the phone changes her number, right, but your number is the same and you don't hear from her, most likely she don't want to go. Well, anyway, the other day your boy NLE Chopper was on the Jason Lee show, and during one of the games that they play on the show, NLE Chopper revealed that he would like to smash Megan Good. But this is where it gets interesting, because after he said that, Jason Lee wasted no time and he pulled out his cell phone and he actually dialed Megan Good's number. Now, while the phone was ringing, NLE Chopper said, quote, you got Megan's number? Hey, on me? I want to take her on a dinner. I want to get some roses planned. I want to do like some real, some ish I never did before for Megan Good. You know, I could be a preacher, all that, whatever she want me to be, end quote. Right after that, Megan Good picked up the phone and Jason Lee explained what was going on and then passed the phone to NLE Chopper. And as soon as he started spitting game, she hung up the phone on him. <laughs> but apparently, it was a disconnection. So, when he finally got Megan Good back on the phone, my man tried to spit the prayer game on her. Check out your boy NLE Chopper in action. Hello? Hey, wait, sorry, the, that's my mother breaking through. Wait, listen, <laughs> listen, the phone died. I said, look at guy intercepting the call. And then when you called back, I said, look at he will restore you. Hold on a second. <laughs> well, let me do this again. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good. I thought you hung up on me. No, I did not. My mother was calling and I was trying to, to tell her like I was, you know, call back and then it ended it. And I was like, no. So. Um, pretty much, I, I was saying that you was, you know, you was pretty much back on the market. I wanted to do something real sweet for you. Uh, I don't know. I didn't want to give you too much because I wanted it to be a surprise, like roses and dinner, something like that. But oh, okay. I'm gonna pray on it though, cause I don't know if that's far reach or not. She's so. going to cuss me out in a Christian way when I'm, we get done with this call. She I'm is. also the praying about it though. Yeah, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm strong on prayer, extremely strong. You know, I've been, I actually been praying to meet you. you know, and look so. at God, how he yeah. just blessed you That's right crazy. now. That's why I got that excited. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's in that lead job. I just wanted to say, hey, if you don't know too much about me, you can look me up. Yeah, I'm about to right now. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You have a blessing. <laughs> Listen, do you think that your boy NLE Chopper's Suave Bolo prayer game was enough to bag Megan Good? Or do you think she's going to hit him with the ice spice and he's just going to have to admire her from a distance too? Let me know what you think in the comments. And while you're down there making a comment, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Now check it, yesterday we reported to you that your boy CeeLo Green was trying to flex in a club and he literally fell off the horse. Well today, we got news that your girl Wendy Williams might have fallen off the horse too. According to reports, Wendy has allegedly started drinking again despite spending nearly two months in rehab last summer and residing in a sober living facility in New York. Sources say that Wendy is celebrating her quote unquote new lease on life free from Kevin Hunter and decided to go out with a couple of friends to the townhouse which is a gay bar in Midtown Manhattan and while she was there she was drinking up a storm. One person who was seated next to Wendy said that she was determined to get drunk and she even said I want to get drunk tonight. Another person said she wasn't hiding her drinking at all. Now, according to sources, after Wendy was seen throwing back a couple of alcoholic beverages at the townhouse, she turned around and went to another bar where she had a few more drinks with friends. 
Now, one of the people that met up with Wendy while she was at the townhouse was Rob Shooter, a podcaster who used to make appearances on the Wendy Williams show. When talking about what happened during Wendy's night out, Rob said, quote, Wendy, I think, was a bit lonely. She was sitting by herself, just Wendy, her driver slash bodyguard. So Wendy said, come and join me. And I said, I'm with friends. I'm not leaving them. And Wendy was like, no, everybody. We had a bite. We had some drinks and we really had fun. But then we were getting ready to say goodbye and Wendy didn't want to leave. So she said, let's go to a bar. And we spent about an hour at this bar. She looked well and she seemed to be doing well. End quote. Now, according to Rob, when he got to the second bar, Wendy kept telling people in the bar that she was moving to California, and she also said that she had taken on her husband's last name again, but she wouldn't say whether or not she was back with Kevin Hunter. Listen, I highly doubt that your girl Wendy Williams is trying to get back with Kevin Hunter. What probably happened was, she was in the bar, she got a little sauced, and she was in there talking that liquor talk. <sighs> let me tell you something, this story really bothers me, and let me tell you why. Many years ago I was in a club and I see this chick and she's on the floor. And when I say on the floor, I mean literally on the floor. Not dancing on the floor, but laying on the floor. Because this chick was hammered. And when I go over to help her, you know who it was? It was Wendy Williams. Now, I'm over there trying to help Wendy, and as I'm with her, I can see all of these dudes in the club looking at her with like the lascivious eyes. Like, if I was not there, they would be trying to do something really down and dirty to this chick. So, I stayed with Wendy till she sobered up, because I wanted to make sure the chick got home safe. So, if this story is true, and Wendy is out there drinking again, I hope and pray that she gets the help that she needs to maintain her sobriety. Listen everybody, keep your girl Wendy Williams up in prayer, and keep everybody in prayer who's suffering with alcoholism, because it is a disease. And people who abuse alcohol need all the help and support that they can get. They don't need condemnation, they need help and support. And really quick, also keep the people who live in households with alcoholics in your prayers too, because that is not easy. But back to my girl Wendy. You know what I noticed about Wendy? Wendy needs a crew of good people around her, because as far as I'm concerned, everybody who she's surrounded by is sus. Because if you're my homie, right, and I know that you just got out of rehab and I see you in the bar, I'm not going to go to another bar with you. I'm going to be like, come on, let's go somewhere else. Let's take a walk. Let's go talk. But what I'm not going to do is co-sign dangerous behavior that can kill you. Listen, let me know what you think about your girl Wendy Williams in the comments. Now, check it out. Everybody knows that when Chris Brown does his concerts, he likes to pull a lady out from the audience. And he likes to put her in a chair and he likes to grind on her for a minute. Well, the last time that he did it, the chick who he was grinding on wouldn't put her cell phone away. So Chris Breezy took it out of her hand and threw it into the audience. Now this time, the lap dances led to a breakup. Cause after the concert, a British man named Dash posted a TikTok video of his now former girlfriend getting grinded all up on by Breezy. And under the video he captioned, quote, Buying my girlfriend front row tickets to see Chris Brown, I want my 500 pounds and my girlfriend back. End quote. A little while later, your boy Dash made another post that said, quote, Just to update everyone regarding the Chris Brown concert, I'm no longer with my girlfriend, but she said that she doesn't think that what she did was wrong. End quote. <laughs> Listen, was this dude's girlfriend wrong for letting Chris Breezy give her a Magic Mike special? Or is this dude overreacting? Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, check it out. The other day, your girl Shirley Ralph was on Angela Yee's talk show. And while she was there, she said that back in the day, she was sexually assaulted by a famous TV judge. When recounting the incident, which took place in public in front of other artists in the network higher-ups, Shirley Ralph said, quote, This man walked in, grabbed me by my neck, turned me around, and rammed his nasty A tongue down my throat. And everybody at the network saw it. End quote. Shirley Ralph also said that when she was ready to call the cops on this dude, everybody at the network was like, nah, nah, don't do it. That would be bad press. And he's got a hit show. According to Cheryl, one person even said, quote, it wasn't so bad after all, was it? 
end quote. Now, Cheryl says that because of the pressure from the network, she decided not to press charges. But the whole incident had her questioning herself, and she was thinking like, what did I do to make this dude think that it was alright for him to do this to me? So she started dressing different and acting different, but she says now she understands that it was not her fault, it was him. And Cheryl said that later on in life, she ran into the dude again and she confronted him on his ish. Look, Cheryl Lee Ralph said that it was not Judge Mathis, so I can only think of like one other TV judge who I think would do that crap. And trust me, his show was not good enough for the network to just let him violate Cheryl Lee Ralph without doing nothing. I think that is mad grimy. And I'm tired of all of these corporations and businesses and all of these people putting profits over people. That is not the way God intended the world to work. And since the TV network was so pressed for profits and ratings, what they should have did was take the TV judge off of the bench and put him in a new show called 60 Days In. Listen, let me know what you think about your girl Cheryl Lee Ralph and let me know which TV judge you think committed the crime. Now check it, in more Takashi 6 9 news, it appears that 6 9 is now being sued for almost $120,000 for allegedly failing to pay his credit card bill. According to court documents, American Express filed suit against Daniel Hernandez aka Takashi 6 9 on February 20th because they say he owes them money and they want their money back. Now, according to the court papers, American Express says that it provided Takashi 69 with a line of credit and the rapper stopped making monthly payments back in November of 2022. In light of this fact, American Express is demanding the court to order Takashi to pay the remaining balance of $118,387. You know what? You know what this sounds like to me? This sounds like another broke rapper out there trying to front for the gram. Because if you remember, back in November of 2022, your boy Takashi69 was running around online bragging about how he gave the Double Dose Twins Birkin bags that cost $35,000 each for their birthday. So, what it's looking like to me, and I could be wrong, is that your boy Takashi69 is out here splurging on credit. I mean, he's all online posting the movie money, prop money, but this dude is most likely broke. Which means that those stacks and racks of bills that he be posting online probably cost him about $20 on Amazon Prime. I mean, for real, for real, these dudes are out here fronting. And I mean, most people on social media are out here fronting. I mean, they got you all depressed because you think that they got the stack, but they don't really got the stack. And as a matter of fact, you might be doing better than Takashi69 because I can almost guarantee you that his credit score is lower than the number on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yo, let me know what you think about your boy 6 9 in the comments. And hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Sauce, your source for celebrity news. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Peace. <laughs>